Now we are going to discuss a mode echocardiogram. A mode is one dimensional time motion mode. The advantage of a mode is that it has a high temporal resolution. That is why even now in most echocardiographic laboratories, a mode is used for measuring left ventricular function. Other uses of a mode have almost become obsolete being the oldest modality in echocardiography. But a mode is still the number one method used for measuring left ventricular function even though there are more advanced methods available nowadays. These are two M mode images of the left ventricle. In this case, the contractions of the left ventricle are lower as it has left ventricular dysfunction. This is a normal LV function. This is just for comparison. We will not be discussing LV dysfunction further in this video. You can see the cuts are taken. The cursor is placed at the level of the coda. Coda tendine are the level at which the cuts are taken. This is right ventricle left ventricle, aorta and left atrium. So in systole, interventricular septum moves downwards towards the LV cavity. At the same time, left ventricular posterior wall moves towards the interventricular septum. So the ventricular cavity becomes lesser and contracts and ejects the blood out. In diastole, the reverse occurs. This is relaxation of the interventricular septum. This is relaxation of left ventricular posterior wall. In between you have the left ventricular cavity. This is the anterior chest wall where you are keeping the transducer corresponding to this location. This is free wall of the right ventricle and this is the right ventricular cavity. Remember that in this parasternal long axis view the small portion of right ventricle is more mostly the outflow region of the right ventricle not the main right ventricular cavity moving to the measurements this is left ventricular posterior wall systolic that is systolic dimension of the left ventricular posterior wall LVIDD is left ventricular internal dimension systolic that is a systolic dimension here IVS systolic, the systolic thickness of the interventricular septum. LVPWD is the diastolic thickness of the left ventricular posterior wall. LVIDD is the diastolic measurement of the left ventricular cavity. IVS diastolic thickness of the septum in diastole. These are measurements actually taken. These are calculations by the computer within the echocardiograph. EDV is end diastolic volume. Then the ratio between IVS and left hip and irregular posterior wall can be calculated. It's mainly useful in suspected hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Then fractional shortening and systolic volume, ejection fraction and left ventricular posterior wall percentage, IVS percentage and left ventricular posterior wall percentage are also shown here. So the advantage in M mode is that the time is going on like this. It has very high temporal resolution so that you can uh, find out the changes which are occurring at each and every moment very easily. You can see that it's a very fast scan. It is almost three times the speed of a usual ECG tracing. This axis, this axis you are seeing is the depth from the transducer. Distance means depth from the transducer. How far away from the transducer the signals from that particular structure is received. That is distance.